Welcome to the project demonstration of pick and place uh, robot with the Bluetooth module. In this project, we are using 12 volt 1 amp battery, pick microcontroller, two 829 3D motor drivers, and 1100 uh, RPM DC motors. So, here we can see one is up and down, another one is for the open and close. And we are using a 30 RPM uh, DC motors. So, here we can see for the four sides, and also. We are providing the power supply through this switch. So each battery have a 4 volt 1 amp capacity. So if we add the batteries in a series, so it will become 12 volt 1 amp capacity that will be given to this pick microcontroller. So that 12 volts will be uh, connected to the here. So here we can see 7805. So 7805 take 12 volt input and it will give 5 volt output. That 5 volt output will be utilized by this pick microcontroller. So through peak microcontroller, we are providing the 5 volts power supply for the 829 3Ds and 5 volts power, power supply for the Bluetooth module because Bluetooth module works on the 5 volts of power supply. So here we can see uh, 829 3D directly connected to the 12 volts. So here we can see one is one here, another one is here. So it is directly connected to the uh, 12 volts. So these motors will be works on the 12 volts of power supply. So these 829 3Ds are connected with the pick microcontroller. So here we can see this one and this one. So based on the pick microcontroller signals, it will be operated. The pick microcontroller receives the signals from the Bluetooth module. So if you want to control this robot using this Bluetooth module, so first of all we need to pair this Bluetooth module in our phone. So I will show you how to pair Bluetooth module. So first of all we need to on the power supply. So here we can see it is showing HC05, we need to peer this one. So it is ask password, password should be 1234 and peer. It will be saved here, so we need to uh, connect this one in a Bluetooth module. Uh, see, so here we can see serial Bluetooth terminal, so we need to go for this one. We need to go for the three lines and have to choose the uh, devices and here we can see HC05, we need to choose this one. Now it is connected. So if you want to rotate this one robot in a forward direction, just press F and enter. So we can see it is rotating in a forward direction. So if you want to rotate this one in backward direction, just press B and enter. So we can see the motor directions also. And if you want to rotate this one in a uh, left side, so press uh, enter R, sorry L. So it will rotate left side. So we can see these wheels are rotating left. Uh, forward that uh, that two vehicles uh, wheels are rotating back side so if i press r so this will be rotated back side the two wheels will be rotated forward side and if you want to stop this robot just press s and enter s means stop now if you want to control this pick and place so we need to press this one u for the up so we can see and uh, D for the down and O for the open and C for the close. So in this way it will receive the uh, in this way we will give the commands to the Bluetooth model. The Bluetooth model connected uh, to the PicMagra controller in a UART communication. So UART communication is nothing but a universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter. In that uh, protocol, these two uh, devices will be communicate each other. So uh, this 8293D is connected with the pin number uh, C0 to C3 and this 8293D is connected with the B, uh, B4 to B7 and so in this way, these connections will be controlled, uh, uh, will be, uh, this microcontroller will be given signals to this pins. So based on the signals, it will be move forward, backward, left and right. At the same time, it will be uh, based on the commands, it will be uh, up and down and close and open. And also we are using a step, uh, charging circuit for this battery pack. So we are using a, a step down transformer and a rectifier. So step down transformer takes 230 volts of power supply through this power cable. So here we can see it will take 230 volts power supply and we step down up to 12 volts 1 amp AC power supply. That will be that will be given to this 
rectifier generally rectifier converts ac to dc so it is taking input of 12 volt ac power supply and will convert up to 12 volt of dc that 12 volt of dc will be give uh, to this connection so we can take this one and we can add here so we can see which means uh, uh, we can see the light indication over there which means battery get charging so after we need to charge this battery maximum 5 to 6 hours then only it will works good in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching